Astral fighting ships and cloud pirates are very different from each other. There's over a dozen ship classes, and everything varies in size, toughness, speed, weapons, and even the construction material. League Wharves commission wooden clippers, frigates, and galleons. Imperial manufactories produce corvettes, cruisers, and battleships with hulls made of metal. The Torpedo Clipper is a ship for captains that are bold and lucky. It swiftly catches up with any target and launches a salvo from its tubes. After this, it should promptly head somewhere else. The little ship has almost no protection against the enemy, relying solely on its speed. The Support Clipper stays close to larger allies, like a pilot fish to a shark. The larger ship takes the punches and the Clipper protects, buffs and repairs them. If the enemy is smart enough to target the humble support ship, it uses its maximum velocity to escape. Though the engineering frigate is made of wood, it is stuffed with high-tech gadgets. It can launch support drones, repair bots, and has an assortment of turrets. It should still fire at enemies with its not-so-powerful cannons in order to charge the reactor that powers all of its gizmos. The Sniper Galleon can hurl a whole pile of trouble at an enemy from afar. If the offended enemy approaches the Sniper to retaliate, the latter can engage a cloaking field or teleport away. The Reinforced Galleon is well defended, Leroy Jenkins. It can charge into a pack of adversaries and not only survive for a long time, but also severely damage them. This vessel debuffs enemies and buffs the allies. The defensive galleon's captain always has the feel of being tall and broad-shouldered. Everybody wants to get behind his ship so it naturally becomes the core element of an aggressive team. All the modules of this galleon boost its own and allies' defenses, while weapon fire hastens their recharge. The support corvette runs circles around its larger enemies, repairing, boosting speed and maneuverability. A skilled captain is able to impress his friends by intercepting an enemy torpedo launched at them. Shredded to pieces within seconds in the impending attack. The Mine Corvette is a ship for AOE enthusiasts. Its captain is gladdened by the sight of a tight enemy formation and fries this drove of ships when the Corvette's modules are at tenfold efficiency, provided the reactor has been charged by weapon fire. The Assault Cruiser is built for close combat. It flies like a butterfly and stings like a bee with a shotgun. Its shots have big spread but its weapons have many charges. It can also withstand lots of punishment and can dodge enemy strikes, sharply changing its trajectory. As if this isn't enough, the assault cruiser has missile launchers and a regenerating shield once they're unlocked. The interceptor cruiser is a vampire among ships. It keeps close to a single enemy, weakening it while strengthening itself and its own attacks. The key goal for this cruiser is to establish and maintain a special vampire link to its victim. This link works best at twilight. Okay, actually it doesn't. The battleship's hull provides working space for its captain's ingenuity. Different equipment choices lead to different tactics, long-distance surgical strikes against enemy modules, or mid-range bombardment with enchanted incendiary shells. Leveling up a battleship opens up even more weapon and skill options, such as setting up spatial barriers. Whatever ship class you choose in Pirates, it is important to remember that every vessel is a building kit, every class's tactics remain adjustable, and there are no bounds for your creativity. Victory is delivered by steel nerves and quick fingers, but a powerful ship is conjured up by a smart head. Experiment, try new classes and setups, and you will rule the skies.